Ultra photorealistic avatars is the one you see in front of me in spatial computing, telepresence, or holoportation on devices such as the Microsoft HoloLens 2 or the Magic Leap 1 or the Oculus Quest 2 will not require external depth cameras to render ultra photorealistic environments and immersive experiences moving forward. Let's talk about that today in this video. Let's get started. Hello and welcome to Reality Forward. My name is Tony Rogers. You know, I read an interesting post this morning from Charlie Fink in regards to holoportation and teleconferencing in spatial computing devices such as the HoloLens 2. We saw this at Microsoft Ignite this week with their new application called Mesh. Magic Leap also has one called Social, which I showed two and a half years ago. And the best one in the industry right now has the most time to mature is called Spatial. Okay, and just because there's a lot of integrators they've had time to polish up, uh, you know, within the code and a lot of feedback across the industry. But I think the question broadly that, you know, Charlie was discussing was, in the future, uh, are the requirements going to need, you know, several different depth cameras, time of flight, coded light, vertical cavity surface emitting lasers, uh, to infer body tracking and so you feel like you're aware of the person standing in front of you. So let me tackle this in a few different ways. Firstly, what you see here is the body pics application running right in the browser. Uh, this is from TensorFlow by Google uh, and you can, this is just my laptop camera. So if we need to have a body tracking application that is coupled with a neural net and feeding back into the teleconferencing application, that's very simple to integrate. But as you can see on this side, from an interview I did two and a half years ago with John Hanasek, uh, it's not necessary. The eye tracking algorithms at you know 200 hertz here, infrared illuminators on your eyes, you know, coupled with AI inferencing models and hand tracking integrations uh, via you know computer vision, you don't need this. And we can see this in spatial right now. It's actually quite fluid and dynamic. Uh, you feel like the person standing in front of you. Now, in the future, uh, do we need? several different integrators for a 360 degree volumetric holoportation? Absolutely. Are there kits going to be sold and developed and designed and implemented across the platforms uh, of the world within the spatial computing and virtual reality environments? Again, yes, I believe that's true. But right now, that is not a necessary component to push this technology forward. Okay. So what I want to do next is show you a brief uh, introduction to social and, and their new uh, firmware update within the Magic Leap 1 so you can see how it's tracking my hands and how it's also tracking my eyes and, and then you can couple that with the video you see here uh, from John Hanasek. And let me also show you a really quick a video uh, that's inferring uh, you know via machine learning AI inference models all of your face just from showing one camera on one side which is really amazing as well. Let's get started. Okay, I set up a meeting within the Magic Leap One social application and there are no external sensors, no external depth cameras, no external AI inferencing models tracking my body other than the body pics running in the browser that you see in front of you here. So you can see that it accurately tracks both of my hands. I've showed you applications in previous depth camera central videos of using computer vision on the Magic Leap One to track all of your hands via 21 point uh, skeletal tracking, okay? But again, if you're doing teleconferencing or holoportation, you can also see that it's inferring the audio from <laughs> everything that I'm saying and overlaying that on top and also blinking. It should be blinking when I'm blinking as well. And that's really amazing. And this is this technology is already three years old. You can imagine what they have inside of R&D uh, labs right now. I've seen many of these proof of concepts. I've seen many of these iterations and they're exponentially uh, much more improved and advanced than most people realize, especially in the industry, which is a little shocking, uh, but it's not because they don't get to see uh, many of these improvements uh, and advances in, in research and development before they're released out into the wild, okay? I hope this makes sense for you. You can kind of see this. It's really nice. And again, I, I, I would recommend you go back and watch that interview I did with John from uh, two and a half years ago. It's a beautiful application, and if you have magic leaps, or uh, you know HoloLens 2, you can use the spatial application, uh, which is very similar to this as well. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. This brief review of holoportation and uh, you know teleconferencing using spatial computers and coupling with in AI inference models um, and, and computer vision and machine learning, uh, you can do some exceptional things nowadays. And I think everyone's starting to catch on very quickly. Thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful day.